Hi everybody, welcome back. So um, we've been working on our ocean backdrop and yesterday we painted our, our backdrop with a, kind of a watercolory wash kind of thing and um, I think got a really nice result of kind of a bluish purplish ocean scene. Now, um, if we were in school, what we would be doing to learn about the ocean, we would be looking in books and looking at pictures online and getting some inspiration for how we would um, decorate our ocean scene. Well, we're not in school, but you can definitely do that at home. Um, you might have some, some books laying around. If not, um, you know, just... Uh, Google ocean underwater ocean scene and look at some images and see what you come up with. Well, I did that and um, I found some really pretty scenes with some different colors of coral and that and I looked at them and I thought, hey, I still have my paint that we used um, in the earlier video when we painted a fish and it looks like just the right colors and I still had the celery in the bowls. I said, ah, this is perfect. So I started playing with it. I said, I'm not ready to dump this paint out. Anyways, I'm having too much fun. So um, I just wanted to um, show you what I did because I was painting away and then I thought, oh, I should probably do a video so um, you can get some ideas for, for what I'm doing. So let me tip the camera so you can see it and I'll also hold up what I did. So I made, um, in the pictures I looked at, they had like this puffy kind of coral that looked like it had a texture to it. And so all I did was I took some of my paint, so here's the blue, and I still had the celery in it. I wasn't quite ready to get rid of it. And I just started just tapping like that and making a texture. Um, and I think it looks really good. I just did a few glops of the different colors. I'll move the camera so you can see it better. Um, I just did a few glops of all the different colors and um, you can, I'm still using the celery. You could probably use really anything. Um, you could probably go outside and pick some flowers and use that. You can use a sponge. I was thinking of using um, a bath poof until I just decided to use the celery that was stuck in here. So anyways, I just did, wanted to give you a quick view of what I did to my scene. So here's some of the coral that I did. So yeah, take a look at um, some images of underwater scenes and put your heads together, kids and moms and dads, and see what you can come up with to create something that um, recreates what you see in those pictures. Okay, well, I will see you later. Bye.